understand you, honey. Are you moaning? I, no, say it slowly. Oh, God, it's raining. Oh, God, it's raining. <laughs> Dorothy, how would you feel if you dropped dead and nobody showed up at your funeral? Well, it's probably a personal thing, but for me, I think dropping dead would be the bigger disappointment. <laughs> I know there are going to be tons of people at my funeral. How can you be so sure? Because I was at my funeral when I was 60. <laughs> you are not going to believe what happened. Those Nielsen twins are back together. What? Laws Lindquist, the man they were fighting over, he's dead. Found slumped over a desk at his Volvo dealership. <laughs> when the girls found out about it, they decided to forgive each other. Now they're back together in the tournament. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, how could George betray me this way? Damn it, those wedding vows were sacred to me. Well, they must have been. I turned down hundreds. Uh, how much do you think these meals will cost? Well, that depends. You want something simple or fancy? We want something cheap. I admire your honesty. I admire your chest. <laughs> I mean, uh, exactly what kind of meal are we talking about? Blanche, I'm trying to decide what to get Dorothy for her birthday. What do you think about this? Good-looking, single white male seeks fun times on a regular basis. Well, it's something she doesn't have. Hi. Hi. Dorothy, you're home from school. Oh, Ma, do you realize... <laughs> Sophia, have you all had a chance to catch up on old times? Yeah, Angela filled me in on how all my friends and family back home are doing. How is everybody, Angela? Dead. <laughs> Angela and I are the only two left of the original family. It's... Sophia, would you mind? Sure, why not? I'm over 80. I've had plenty of chances to rest in my lifetime. <laughs> Today alone, I probably sat down three, four times. <laughs> I'll answer the door and then I'll hot tar the roof. Hello? Hello? A new wallpaper. My car will last another year. All right, Dorothy. I see behind that mask. You're angry. You're damn right I'm angry. You've been hoarding money for the last ten years and taking advantage of me. Of course I'm angry. No, it's something else. I think you didn't get enough hug. Maybe it'd be just like Cocoon. And they'd take us away and we'd never grow old. See, I don't know. I, I like my life. I mean, I'm not president or anything. I'm just a teacher. A substitute teacher. <laughs> A divorced substitute teacher. Gallops into town. Of course, both girls are impressed. He dates one one night, the other the next night. Pretty soon, he drives a wedge between them. Before you know it, the pizza suffers, the business suffers, the friendship suffers. The girls park company and head for America. <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad I got back before Kirsten and Charlie got here. Who's Charlie? Rose's granddaughter. That's a girl's name? Charlie? That's a bookie's name. <laughs> Honey, she's named after Rose's husband. Rose's husband was a bookie? <laughs> he sold insurance. An even bigger racket. <laughs> Even the seagulls stopped listening. The rain kept our fans away. Baloney. Every week we've been collecting, what, $20, $30 for the clinic? The last couple of weeks, we're lucky if we break 10. And you know why? We're losing our edge. The excitement is gone. We're not driven like we used to be. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, it's okay. I didn't want my salad anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Soup, man. Oh, don't thank you. I'm still sucking on a Smith Brothers. 
<laughs> well, good evening. I sat there at two in the morning listening to Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass. And then after an eternity, he comes back on the line eating chips. And he says, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'm the only one here. My phone's been ringing off the hook. I said, officer, what about my husband? And then he's... You always meet a lot of lecherous guys out for a good time who think they can impress you by throwing their money around. Oh, damn, I wish I didn't have to go to work today. <laughs> well, Dorothy, you go. You can relax and take your mind off your job interview tomorrow afternoon. Oh, all right. Oh, good. I, uh, I would lend you my pack. We don't want to lose him. Bye-bye. I better get to the office. We're not done yet. Couldn't it wait? Oh, no, it cannot wait. George, the kids are gone. You're never here. I have nothing to do anymore. What do your friends do? Shop, have lunch, some play golf, some have affairs. Which ones are having affairs? Oh, I don't know. Come on. Dr. Harry Weston. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Blanche, he's a doctor. Used to seeing people at their worst. <laughs> and if you comb your hair, you can be right in that ballpark. <laughs> Harry? Yeah, Dorothy. Uh, listen, I'm so sorry I have to call you at home, but we're taking care of the Lillistrand. Now that's a good one. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Really? You don't think I'm showing too much skin? Rose, move your thumb. <laughs> oh! Oh, and look at this one! But there are bugs there. <laughs> And they'll think Stan is their leader. All right, in you go. Oh, isn't this lovely? And sex. Obviously, it fell off the wagon. And onto a naval base. It was just after I'd lost George, and it just seemed an appropriate thing to do. Of course it did, and your husband had just died. So what? You were dumped by the man of your dreams. It's not surprising that today you'd be a little irritable. I know, but to be upset about Stan. I'm so embarrassed. I mean, it's, it's not as if he means anything in my life. Honey, I know exactly what you're going through. Believe me, I do. I'm just so glad we had this little talk. Oh. oh. <laughs> inside a pit or a pearl <laughs> this is a 25 cent nectarine fine sold well don't stand there like a bump on a pickle give the man a quarter <laughs> yeah. was too nervous to eat much at dinner but i suppose the rest of the evening really built up an appetite <laughs> aha i didn't expect to see you girls up so late I'm just having a snack. Dorothy's the one having an affair at a motel. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Can settle this. All right, Dorothy, tell her who it's going to be. It's going to be me. He asked me last Thursday. Well, I... Learn doesn't mean you can't teach. Yes, it does. Well, you know this stuff better than I do. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, there you are. Dorothy, I'd like you to meet my friend Lillian. Uh. Lillian, this is my daughter, Dorothy, the director of executive training for Borealis. I think that beats you. So you don't know if you'd give me a kidney? No, I don't. Well, I'm not surprised. You never even let me a Kleenex. <laughs> Besides, I'm a size eight. Your kidney wouldn't fit me. There's not room in my body for your kidney. <laughs> well, I guess I... Blanche. Well, you hurt me with what you said. Oh, Dorothy, let me get you somebody hot off my A-list. Somebody tall, good-looking, goes with everything. <laughs> Doug? How about an ex-race car driver, speaks five languages, has three car dealerships, has a slight limp so he can only dance in a circle, but that works. <laughs> and you know what he did? He laughed. Well, right then and there, I started growing very fond of Mr. Preston Bougainvillea, and over the next several months, we saw quite a lot of each other. 
<laughs> oh, that's really very <laughs> sweet, Blanche. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, we're divorced. Oh, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. <laughs> Love your shirt. <laughs> nice to me. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> now, goodbye. Honey, oh, hi, Dorothy. Honey, can I talk to you? No, go away. But I can't sleep, Sophia, and it's all because Rose isn't talking to me. I could care less. Now, get out of my room. <laughs> Sophia? I'm not in. Wait for the beep, then leave a message. So, your uh, English teacher. You certainly wouldn't have worn those shoes with that dress. Oh, now, just a minute here, Mr. De Kimmel. I see no reason for you to be insulting my friend Rose or her shoes. Oh, my Lord, look at those things. <laughs> the pilgrims landed in nicer shoes. Yes, do forgive me, ladies. My... <laughs> She's the grand poobah of Slotkin. <laughs> she is the easiest woman in this room. <laughs> Dorothy Spornak, you take that back. <laughs> the slut is dead. Long live the slut. How much more? A bit more. How much? Exactly. Yes. Ten thousand dollars. I'd rather be murdered. <laughs> and I want a great big wall safe. You don't need one anymore. You got no jewelry. <laughs> well, I'll get it back. I went to the police today with some sketches I made. How could you make... All right, Rose, out with it. What did Holly do that's so terrible? Why do you care? You won't believe me anyway. Hey, Cecilius can always recognize two things. When someone is telling the truth and when they've had their fingerprints changed. <laughs> I know, whatever you're going to... reason why you thought the book was about you. <gasps> My God, you're right. Oh, uh, except for that part, of course, where Vixen is terrified of losing her looks and growing old alone. I have never felt like that. <laughs> of course, me neither. That's what makes it fiction. <laughs> Morning. Oh, you've already got breakfast ready. Becky and I were up till all hours talking. You know, my daughter and I haven't had a talk like that since ever. <laughs> Must have been fun. Oh, yeah, we did each other's hair and laughed and laughed. I can see why. <laughs> Arthur, if she misses us, how come she hasn't called? Maybe she died, Blanche. It happened before. Maybe this time it took. <laughs> Nurse Defarge, right on time. Of course I'm right on time. I'm always on time. You know what happens when a nurse is late? People die. <laughs> well, then, let Oh, I finally have you all to myself. Why don't I fix us some drinks, huh? Actually, I don't drink. Oh, then I know what'll loosen us up. We can play a game with my naughty cards oh. from Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> Aces are high and I'm wild. Oh. <laughs> Well, I really don't gamble either, boy. Rose, have you seen Blanche? I think she's in her room. Why? I really need to talk to her. Every time you need to talk to somebody, you go to your mother or to Blanche. Why doesn't anybody ever talk to me? Your advice always comes with one of those damn St. Olaf stories. <laughs> I can give advice without a damn St. Saint... I didn't know what to have for dinner. How about splitting a pepperoni pizza? <laughs> sure, you buy it? Does a pepperoni swim upstream? <laughs> Dead once, let's go. I'm afraid I don't understand, Sophia. They look up to you. They seek your advice, they re... Prima di incominciare... Before we begin... Bisogna chiarire un punto. Let's make one thing clear. Io e solo io sono in controllo. 
I am in charge. Io sono il padrone. I am the boss. Io sono il maestro. I am the master. Io sono la balena. I am the walrus. She's not out there. She isn't in her bedroom. There's no one in the kitchen out, but I think she was there. The coffee's still warm. Oh, Ma, that's because we were in there drinking it less than an hour ago. Excuse me, Miss Marple. I'm new at this. <laughs> Where have you been? Blanche, why didn't you call us? You had us worried. The spokesmodel category on Star Search. <laughs> but then again, you work your wonders in mysterious ways. A couple of years ago, on a night like this, I would have frozen to death because I was by myself. Now I have Dorothy and Blanche and Sophia to keep me warm. Not just warm. Got a minute? Sure. Good. Crochet me a scarf. <laughs> Ma, I need to talk to you about Alvin. He's sick, Ma. What are you talking about? You've never even seen him. I've seen him, Ma. After you had that fight, I was worried about you and I... Howdy, ladies. My name's Rusty. I don't recollect seeing you two fillies around these parts. Mind if a lonesome cowboy puts his saddlebags around your campfire? Give us a break, would you, Mac? <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. My name's Rusty. No one's leaving this kitchen until someone tells the truth. I'll tell you. Miles. Dorothy. Dorothy stole $500 from me. <laughs> you liar. Well, just stop it, both of you. We're all friends here. And there are going to be times when we... This is too funny. I have to get my camera from the car. Angela, I wish you wouldn't rush right back to Newark after the funeral. Why don't you stay at the house for a couple of days? I gotta get back to work. I was just promoting... He's our fifth golden girl. <laughs> <laughs> Would you elaborate on that, please? <laughs> Might be a lot, of, a lot of confusion around here. <laughs> we would not have this same show if we didn't have our fifth Golden Girl. Thank with you us very much. Every week, we only got him for four years. <laughs> we love her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ma, forget it, forget it. The dog is all yours. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why is there a big hairy beast in my house? My guess is because he bought you dinner. <laughs> Well, Blanche, I gotta run. Oh, well, thank... Maybe I'm being a little too subtle here. <laughs> Give me your hand, Marvin. <laughs> now, what do you feel? A medical light tag? <laughs> it's my heart. Can't you feel it pounding? Would anyone here... Get out, get out, get out! <laughs> I felt that way when my wife died. You did? Absolutely. Of course, I didn't let that stop me. You mean you just make love and feel lousy? Well, I'd, I'd feel lousy about it, but otherwise I'd feel terrific. <laughs> what is the point of that ridiculous story, Rose? The point is Gustav didn't die from his mysterious disease at all. He lived and recovered. Trouble was, he recovered while he was buried, so by the time they got to him, he died of suffocation. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Tell me, did you get a chance to play around with those lyrics I gave you? Yeah, listen to this. Hey, that sounds great. <laughs> Let's take it from the top. From the top? Oh, that sounds so... <laughs> the evidence had melted. melted. <laughs> To this day, every time I pass a, an ice cream parlor or a tackle shop, I blush. Look, Coach. Uh, you got any glue? Oh! Blanche's plate! What are we gonna tell her? The truth! Good. I just need a few... Let me get this straight. Blanche couldn't get the hang of dirty dancing, but you could? 
Dorothy, now do you see why I'm so embarrassed? Can you imagine a dance with movements just like making love and I can't do it? Relax, Blanche. Maybe standing up is what's throwing you. He's always so guilty, he ends up giving the really expensive gifts to the wife. <laughs> Look, I didn't choose for things to happen this way. I tried to do the right thing, but the right thing was not right for me. I'm in love. And if there are sacrifices that have to be made, I can accept them. I'm happy. And that's what matters. Be like school. I have already read the book for the class, which is interesting, and I've also completed all the assignments for the class. Uh, plus, this is a special report that I have written based on the extra research that I have done for the class. <laughs> We're never going to beat you people, are we? <laughs> now, the Boys, come on, let's dance. month has the picture of a man who's brought some special joy into my life. Oh, Blanche. Oh, honey, this is so thoughtful. Whoa! In my behind. Oh, so what was so disturbing? Well, I woke up and I'd only gotten to sleep with Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> I'm not even sure who he is. <laughs> Uh, I just couldn't sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> he pinched me. It's a reflex. He's Italian. <laughs> we'll start with the simplest of jobs. Installare la finestra. Installing the window. We're fired. Rose, we just did that part, honey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Of course, we'll pay you for the rest of the week. Oh, Marguerite, I hope you understand. I've never been fired from any job. We're really awfully sorry. Well, you should be. <laughs> well, I guess it's my shift. It's okay, Dorothy. I think she's finally asleep. Oh, thank God. I am exhausted. Haven't been this tired since my wedding night. <laughs> Devereaux, life is not fair. I should know. I'm 43 years old, and until today, I never even heard of 7B. <laughs> well, I've known about it for some time. And as far as I'm concerned, you can go do it to yourself. <laughs> babies and handing out corn at the rotary picnics. Shut up, Rose. So, uh, Mama, is it all right if I have my baby here? Well, I only want what's best for you, darling. Don't you want to have your baby with your obstetrician in your hospital in Atlanta? Oh, I'm not having my baby in a hospital. Turner, if you're less than 70, you can't play. Uh, Freddie Leone. 92. Hey, Leone. Try to remember, lasagna was not meant to go on a sandwich. Uh, last but not least, Billy Haskell. Uh, Rose, how could you do that? Don't you know what's going to happen? This is going to end up in all the tabloids. I can see it now, right next to Woman Gives Birth to Doc Severance and Lookalike. <laughs> Dorothy's Bornak meets Spaceman. Oh. Why do you get all the credit? Girls! Well, I've got to get back to the hotel. Uh, Blanche has consented to have lunch with me. Would you ladies care to join us? Oh, no, that's all right. You two probably have a great deal to talk over. Well, it's been a pleasure to meet you. I'll see y'all later. Really, Blanche? What could be so important about a building? I will tell you what is so important. It was my home away from home as a child, especially my bedroom. Grammy and I would have all our late night talks up there, and now they're tearing it down. Oh, that's terrible. Why, Grammy's plantation was the one place I consistently mediocre. I understand Marilyn Quayle feels the same way. <laughs> So 
she asked her fairy godmother to grant Tunder the ability to perform incredible feats of magic, and her wish was granted. To what, honey? My new dress. Oh, is that new? Yes. It's sort of old-fashioned looking. I wasn't sure it was new. Oh, that's the style. The girl told me. What was she, a pilgrim? <laughs> Come on, Blanche. You look wonderful, Rose. Absolutely lovely. Well, I suppose I should go. I haven't had a feet on the ground. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Blanche. You handled it better than I thought you would. Oh, well, to tell you the truth, I'm not thrilled, but as long as they're in love and happy and I don't have to call her mommy, I can live with it. <laughs> oh, hello there. How'd you do? We came in second. Oh, that's terrific. What'd you get? Treated badly. The good time. Wait, you're going to introduce me to some of your friends? Yes, if I see anybody I know. Blanche! Hi, everybody! Hey, Blanche, how's life? Well, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and I'm wearing no underwear. <laughs> You're a slut. Oh, come on. Honey, slut is a little harsh. I mean, Blanche isn't that bad. Oh, my God! I can barely walk! <laughs> Although, slut does have a documentary feel to it. You! You! What's the big? I know that guy. That's just a stage name. Ma, I don't like this new crowd that you're hanging out with. Now, why are you with these people? You're right, Dorothy. I was with the wrong crowd. By the way, if anyone asks, I was here last night. Believed it too. Right up to the part where Jesus had his Olympic medals taken away for playing professional baseball. <laughs> that became sort of a tradition with us. Yeah. You had ingenuity then. You didn't let anything beat you. And you can do it again, Stan. If you just work hard and turn on that Zbornak charm. I just had an idea. Little Slice of Sicily's a family restaurant, and a mother-daughter commercial would be great. How'd you like to be in it? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I'd have to check my schedule. You see, I'm a substitute teacher. Please, so someone else sets up the driver's ed cones. <laughs> All right, Ma. Act well, maybe Billy could have, but Billy couldn't play, and we all know why. I don't want to mention any names. Follow my eyes. <laughs> okay, that's it for practice today. Everybody get a good night's sleep. Coach Dorothy? Force them to grade junior high English essays. <laughs> Kids today can't write the English language. The characters in The Grapes of Wrath are so real that it's interesting. <laughs> Weren't they? <laughs> Afternoon. Nuns. <laughs> Sophia, you have no idea how much we're going to miss you. It's like losing a member of the family. Rose is right, Sophia. You're just like a mother to us. We feel like your daughters, too. I feel the same way, Rose. Just remember, you're smaller than people say you are. You've got common sense, and you know what you're doing. Fines. You know where to find me. <laughs> Dorothy, I have terrible news. We don't have an MC for the talent show. Kent Ferguson, the KTMB weatherman, has just dropped out. Oh, you have to be kidding. What happened? I tell you, that Disney World Hotel was just wonderful. It had everything. Good service, delicious food, a beautiful room. What did you think of the rides? They got rides? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You had a good time and you never had a stand in line. We like to stay in chat, but we want to get settled in our new place. Oh, disgrace yourself, all your family. I absolutely forbid you to go on with this foolishness one minute longer. You forbid, Big Daddy? You're the one who's going crazy, girl. I'm... Um. Sorry you had to witness this spectacle, ladies. My apologies. Oh, big dad, away. Nobody asked me about Frank Sinatra. We were asking Rose why she's nervous about seeing her daughter. Then try to stay on the subject. <laughs> why are you nervous, Rose? 
Well, I'm nervous because I made Kirsten executor of my will and I have to go over the documents with her. Well, honey, she's a big girl. I mean, this may not be the, the most pleasant conversation you two will have. <laughs> what? You care for me? You care for a cat or a dog or a goat? When I tell you I love you and you tell me you care for me? Oh, please, Sophia. I, I, I care for you a lot. I'm going home, and don't bother driving me. Oh, look so... <laughs> oh, give me that. I thought I was gonna die. I swear I've never felt such agony. I saw my entire life flash before my eyes, and I thought... Ripple on your mother's chin to lock it away forever. <laughs> She, she's kidding. <laughs> By the curse. Besides, I'm doing this for your own good. For my own good? The last time you said that, you volunteered me for psychological experiments. <laughs> hey, the pay was good. <laughs> and to this day, nobody, nobody can make it through a maze faster than you can. <laughs> Hello, Fred. Hello, Dorothy, Mrs. Petrillo. Why haven't you returned my calls? There's nothing to talk about. We're not going away, Fred. All right, come in. Have a seat. Only well, usually I'm one of the ships. <laughs> well, Rose, it's all out in the open now. I can see that. to speak with you in the kitchen, please. There'll be nothing but heartaches. Those swabbies drift in to port, park their ditties on your doorstep, <laughs> show you some tricks they learned in the Orient, and then it's of ask me hearties, and they shove off with a serpent tattoo in your heart as souvenirs. You've been reading Treasure Island again. Yeah? I know this. You don't realize how much you care for a man until you see him streaking toward the earth trying to grab a bird. Uh, he must really love you. Well, I love him, too. What happened? You know when you told her to drop dead? Yeah. I think she did. <laughs> oh, geez. The mystery continues. Now, girls, remember, look everyone over very carefully. Try to figure out who are the real guests and who are actors pretending to be guests. It'll help when it comes to solving the mystery. Slide. Dorothy? Rose? Well, don't you girls believe me? Sophia? I believe you, Blanche. Absolutely. Hello? I need a number for People magazine. <laughs> the department... Mr. Labas, I want to thank you for coming on such short notice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're lucky I came at all. I got a horrible cold. I was so dizzy this morning, I lost my balance getting out of bed. I guess my equilibrium shot. Well, I'm sure you'll feel better once you're up on the roof. Yeah, well, I, I thrust my breast forward. <laughs> Blanche, honey, you always did look pretty when you held your breath. <laughs> Jamie! Well, darling, why do you look so stricken? It can't be... This dress business. Oh, there is nothing to settle. Now, I am wearing this dress. Dorothy, it deserves to be displayed on a devastatingly beautiful body. <laughs> Who are you going to send it to? Kim Basinger? 
And what is that supposed to mean? Why don't you think about it while you're inhaling? Rose, honey, is that why you're training? For your parents? They always wanted me to be a champion ice skater. They were so proud watching me practice. I know their dream was for me to win a gold medal, but I hate ice skating. Rose, listen, you don't have to do anything to please your parents. She's right. I'd like to... Ma, if anything goes wrong, we stop. Relax. There are some things you never forget. Driving a car is like making love. In both cases, a mirror makes objects appear larger than they really are. <laughs> oh, Buffy, I'm just so angry. Floyd McCallum just... Uh, you know, the teacher I've been working with on the youth fair... She's known him for two whole weeks, and he hasn't asked her out yet. Look, I don't know him, know him. We have spent exactly two Saturday mornings building display booths and painting signs. We're hardly close. Maybe you could be if you'd ask him out. He's obviously too shy to ask you. Maybe you a lot about the two of us. No, uh, what do you mean? The one thing you never do is treat me like an old lady. You treat me like a person. I appreciate that. You're a good daughter, Dorothy. Well, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to say. Uh, Blanche Everlast is a brand name, not a nickname. What, what kind of a place is this anyway? I don't know, an old office building or a warehouse. Or... It looks to me like the kind of place where shady dealings go on. I... No. These are my roommates, Blanche, Rose. Please, sit down. Oh, thank you. Well, why don't you begin by telling us a little about yourself? Well, there isn't much to tell. I'm hardworking and honest, and I'll work for a reasonable wage. That's it? <laughs> All right, I won't go on. I won't know a moment's peace. I'll scar my fingerprints with battery acid, and I'll run from town to town taking jobs that people have who've got bad grades in school. <laughs> and then one day they'll find me, holed up in a, in a little shack in the Louisiana Bayou, and a sheriff named Bull will call my name out over a megaphone. Major, I can't believe you. Where do you get your nerve? Ironically, from Uncle Lucas. <laughs> Sophia. Me? You come to me, a matriarch, the head of a family? To me, Blanche, family is everything. There's nothing higher than family. Family I will always... Without <laughs> And I remember I said, well, couldn't this wait just a minute? I'm reading to the blind. <laughs> Uh, that's enough, Rose. Oh, but it's so golden. Let it go. Come on, let it go. Let it go, you loser! <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Now I can say a duel. Make me change my mind. I'll pay for both tickets. Book business class. If I have to sift through the three amigos, I'll need champagne. <laughs> It with animals. Yeah. Lucy's ready to leave. Come on and say goodbye. Oh, we'll be right there. And Rose Nyland, if you ever breathe a word of this to anyone, I swear I'll kill you. <laughs> Dorothy, don't be silly. You couldn't even kill a little mouse. <laughs> That's because you can communicate with him. Oh, Dorothy, one word of caution. What's a nice boy like you doing with ulcers anyway? You got a job that pays and a girl will do anything for you. Anything you will, won't you, Dorothy? <laughs> I'll take that as a have a good time. Don't worry, Mrs. Petrillo. I'll have your little girl home at a reasonable hour. Don't bother. You kids have fun. I won't wait up. Have it back by Tuesday. <laughs> up with the money for a new roof. Oh, it's $10,000, Dorothy. How are we going to come up with $10,000? Well, I hate to do it, but I do have a couple of thousand in stock that I could cash in. Well, I guess I could close out my Christmas club. How much is that? Let's see, we're in January, so this would be when... <laughs> That's Sophia walking into the kitchen. <laughs> I didn't know Fess Parker was in this picture. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, what, what are you doing? I'm mugging for the camera. You're mugging me. You're stealing money out of my pocket. I'm checking to see if we have the exact change for the bus. <laughs> now I'm stealing. If you... Away, and I am blue. 
what'll I do? Very nice. What'll I do when I am wondering? He wasn't the only one who was up all night. You were too? Yes, I had time to do a lot of thinking. And? And, of course, I'm going to do it. Oh, Blanche, you're a brave lady. Oh, you really are, honey. No, I have to. I don't want my sister to die. I want her to live. <laughs> People may visit, play with the controls, but I'll never really fly again. <laughs> Oh, and I was little... A one in a million shot. How could... How could... How could they not have given you the job, Rose? Oh, maybe the issue here is one of... Oh, God, what can we call it? Uh, editorial judgment. Really? You think so? Oh, yes, Rose. Yes, I do. I guess it just isn't the story they wanted. Dang. I'm... I'm not saying you're a cheater. I'm not saying that, that you're like Stan... I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with me that I'm, I'm not trusting enough, but uh, I'm going to need some time. So what are you telling me? It's going to be months or years or maybe never? I don't know. What difference does it make? Oh, big difference. The Mortimer Club is restricted. Barbara, why are you a member of a club like that? <laughs> because they serve a great breakfast and the parking is free. Besides, it's their policy, not mine. Yeah, but you tolerate it. Dorothy, I tolerate a lot of things. You can say a duel, make me change my mind. I'll pay for both tickets. Book business class. If I have to sit through the three amigos, I'll need champagne. <laughs> Cat, can you lend me $20? Ma, this is the second time this week that you've come to me for money. Now, what happened to your allowance? Uh, something's come up. A medical emergency. Can I have the money? What medical Ma, what's wrong? I think I'm pregnant. Black as ripe olives, skin as smooth and creamy as fresh butter, hair flaming red like a rich marinara sauce. Ma, that's not you. That's your lasagna recipe. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, I was the most gorgeous girl in the village, and I could have my pick of that. Mm. You can't pick men, and you can't pick pizza! <laughs> Why are you trying to push Michael into a job? Give him time to breathe. Let him find himself. Oh, um, uh, I'm a little concerned. He just doesn't take commitment seriously. Well, he quits jobs, he leaves relationships. It's like they don't matter. He is 30 years old. When this food, except for the carrot raisin salad, I've never understood carrot raisin salad. <laughs> no, Mrs. Taylor, it's Flintstone, not Flintstein. <laughs> Lovely neighbors you got there, mister. No, 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 get away, go over there, move. Okay, okay, take it easy. Who'd be ridiculous? In fact, I wish Janet were here to see how wonderful her mother and her little girl are getting along. I just know she's going to let her come back year after year. I'll go get the music. You'll be sure and get some sleep tonight, sweetheart, so you'll be all rested when we go to the zoo tomorrow. I'm not going to the zoo. It's working pairs. I don't know what the church is coming to. <laughs> I thought it stopped with bingo. <laughs> that was no nun. I work for a consumer protection show. We've been warning people about this for months. Once these scamsters have your money in an envelope, they make a switch. What do you mean? I mean, that part wasn't in my dream. That means the dream's broken. We're going back to Miami. We're going to be all right. Not me. Well, you two faced your fears. So if you got on the plane, you faced your dream. I didn't give my speech. Give it now. Yeah. Yes. Go on. Now you wrote it, you give it. Go on, you can do it. This is so exciting. <laughs> this is so depressing. <laughs> oh, it's Saturday night and I'm all nervous and jumpy because in a few hours there'll be a handsome new toilet at my door. <laughs> uh, uh, What's going on here? I walk into the bathroom and instead of a toilet, there's a hole in the ground. Tell me to my face. 
If you're so angry with him, tell him. You don't have to kill him. I know, but I want to. <laughs> Dorothy, anger is a lot like a piece of shredded wheat caught under your dentures. <laughs> if you leave it there, you get a blister. And you gotta eat jello all week. <laughs> Babies and handing out corn at the rotary picnics. <laughs> Shut up, Rose. <laughs> Oh, well, Mama, is it all right if I have my baby here? Well, I only want what's best for you, darling. Don't you want to have your baby with your obstetrician in your hospital in Atlanta? Oh, I'm not having my baby in a hospital. I don't know this place. Lillian, it's okay. And I don't know you. Lillian, I'm Dorothy, and this is Sophia. We're your friends. We brought you here from the home last night. What they do is their business, but if I ever see your hand on Rose's behind, it'll kill me. <laughs> wow, what a hump. I know. Eat your hearts out. Blanche, did it ever occur to you that possibly Rose or I might be interested? Hello? Person to person, from the Duke of Windsor to Queen Elizabeth? Oh, that's for me. That's my Phil. <laughs> Hello? The Queen's not here. She went shopping. Thanks for calling, Phil, and send my love to the ch... Damn. And everyone's got to have one. <laughs> Is this a revival of Raisin in the Sun? Damn. About what, three years oh, ago. It seems like Stanley yes. oh, can't Sam can't remember. Oh, damn. What's the matter, Pussycat? Uh, I can't balance my checkbook. Ah, oh, the hell with it. I'm only off by a few pennies. A few pennies? To you, it may not be much, but back in Sicily, a few pennies could make the difference between owning a gun and having to... A psychiatrist! It's about time! <laughs> The woman gives names to her gingerbread men. <laughs> I'm ready to go to the airport. Oh, I'm going that way, Sophia. I can take you. Oh, thanks, Rose. Fine. Wait a minute. You can't run out of here. We want to hear more about this doctor of yours. Oh, well, there's not more. That was because no one liked you. <laughs> this is why when I was a kid, I had an imaginary mother. <laughs> Believe it, Buzz Mueller just called. He's in town. Buzz Mueller? I haven't seen Buzz in almost 40 years since we were dating in high school. Rose, I didn't... Well, M-I-A-M-I doesn't spell Miami Beach. That spells Miami. I told you not to add beach. Oh, fine, fine. You find something to rhyme with Miami, hotshot. Mammy. Whammy, clammy, Alabama, hoot nanny, salami. Without a headstone is a milestone. <laughs> I think my milestone birthday was when I turned 50. Oh, Ma, I remember your 50th. We were supposed to go to a party at Guido's, but you were fighting with Pop. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll never forget it. It was Brooklyn, April 1956. Dorothy. Yes, Ma. I tell him he loved me more than Grout. <laughs> Must have been a tough choice for old Charlie. <laughs> I thought I heard voices. Now I see that only two of them are God-fearing. <laughs> Ma, will you get off my back? I feel bad enough. You? What about me? 81 years I've eaten fish on fire. <laughs> well, now that's a cranberry juice. Definitely Ocean Terrace. Definitely Fine Steen, except she pronounces it Fine Stein. Harriet Feinstein, you want me to say hello for you? Would you mind? We're very close. <laughs> no problem. Hey, Alvin, I have... Hey, you're only saying that because you're my friend, Rose. Sophia, tell me the truth. Am I a bad mother? You did what you had to do. Well, then why do I feel so terrible? Because it is not easy being a mother. If it were easy, fathers would do it. <laughs> Can't kids understand that we're just trying to do what's best for them? Watch that you're right on time. <laughs> Looking lovely. Thank you. I'll just get my purse and we'll go. Oh, this is my roommate, Rose. Oh. Blanche, before you leave, will you take a look at this horse and tell me if it looks like old Brisker is pulling the beer wagon? Honey, why don't you ask Donald to look at old Brisker? He knows a lot about all. 
I bought a nectarine. <laughs> your nightstand. <laughs> you want to see my Vance Gap caca? As long as I don't have to show you mine. <laughs> it's a St. Olaf friendship cake. I'm taking it to Roger. It's my... <laughs> and most of all, I vow that my marriage to my beloved Dorothy will... Stop! As God is my witness in front of this entire congregation, I call an end to this wedding here and now. Sophia, this is only the rehearsal. It is? <laughs> Hello? Frank's Flowers? Hey, Frank! Sophia Petrillo here. Listen, I decided the price you quoted me on those centerpieces is too high, so I thought maybe we could make a deal. Now, my daughter is single. What do you mean, is she easy? <laughs> You're talking about my flesh and... Surprise! What are you two doing here? I thought you had a Spanish class tonight. We do, but we're not going. We dropped out. Well, what about your promotion at the counseling center? Oh, I can just forget about that. Norwegians are notoriously bad at Spanish. I guess that's why there were no herring tacos. <laughs> and it was a... <laughs> You are kidding. Hmm? I'm afraid not. He's a damn fine doctor, too. I wish I were half the doctor he is. <laughs> By the way, I'll be performing your surgery tomorrow. Does not want us to say a word about this to anyone until we hear from him again. Not a word. Is that understood? Yes. I thought I heard voices in here. What you girls do? Oh, nothing. We're just sitting talking. You can't afford all that stuff on a vice cop salary. Who knew, huh? Aunt Blanche, I'm a grown woman. I can live my life any way I want to. Oh, I know that. I just don't think this is the way you really want to live it. Is it my fault men find me attractive? No, honey, what they find you... That's ridiculous to call off your wedding because of a silly little argument. What did Ramon do? He slept with my best friend. We're gonna eat chicken for the rest of our lives. <laughs> oh, Priscilla, I'm so sorry. Listen, be grateful he got it out of his system before the marriage. Go to widen Richmond Street. Now, will the representative of those wanting to block the proposal please step forward? Wish me luck. Wait a minute, Blanche. Why should you do it? Because we'll have a better chance. Dorothy, I happen to be a wonderful orator. And two of the commissioners can verify that. <laughs> Blanche, orator means... Three wise men in the nativity scene at Burdines were wearing Ralph Lauren ski parkas. <laughs> Let me take a wild guess. You didn't expect us home this early. Dorothy Rose, I'd like you to meet... We... <laughs> Not so fast. Let's just wait till you're completely rehabilitated. Which can be fun, too. Let me start my rehabilitation by giving you back your lovely necklace. Thank you. And your ankle bracelet. What in hell is going on here? He's a man, I'm a woman. I've got what it takes, and he knows how to use it. I think I'm going to lose my lunch. Blanche, listen. Fidel, don't sugarcoat it for her. Look, we happen to be an item. Probably you're sick. Now, I want you to see uh, Michael Chang. He's a virologist on staff here at the hospital. You know, there are all kinds of diseases we didn't know about before. Look at Lyme disease. Harry, am I going to die? I'm afraid so. <laughs> You really think so? Sooner or later, I guarantee it. And it started making a wheezing, coughing, rattling kind of a sound every time it goes up a hill. Uh-oh, that's a bad sign. Those are the sounds Tony Triano made the night they wheeled him out of the home on a gurney. <laughs> that car is in terrific condition. All right, sometimes it's a little hard to turn over in the morning. 
Tony Triano? Uh, look, uh, everybody named after an apostle, come with me. <laughs> Excuse me, there was no Eddie. Uh, have you guys ever heard of Totally Hidden Video? Well, underneath this gray wig is comedian Kay Ballard. Thanks for being on our show. Oh, who knows? Anyway, it started with a B. <laughs> that first time, did you have... <laughs> Are you serious? All those months away, I kept saying, there's a great lady waiting for you back home, Ken. Ken? That's it, of course, Ken. Then Ken would turn to me and say, there's a great lady waiting for you too, Bill. Bill. Billions in video games. Oh, this is so strange. You know, you teach kids year after year, but you, you never know how they turn out. Look at you. You turned out just great. <laughs> hey, 75 was a big year for me. My grades were in the toilet. <laughs> I was ready to bail till they brought in a tiller. Dan. Ladies and gentlemen, you now have enough clues to solve these murders. Who did it? How? And why? The butler did it. <laughs> I'm a maitre d'. Thank you. The maitre d' did it. <laughs> Don't get it. Gloria did it. It was Kurt. When we go to the movies, who always stands in line for the popcorn? I do. When we vacuum, who always lifts up the furniture? I do. When we clean the kitchen, who always mops? Dorothy. Who cleans the mop? I do. She takes advantage, Rose, and it's time... Bill, he was talking to you, right? Yes. Yes, of course, darlings. This is Bill. <laughs> Bill. I guess Bill and I should be going. I thought we should go back to that same place where we fell in love, Butch. Uh, yes, that's great. That'd be wonderful. Yes, we'll go right back to there. Talking to me all day long. And she never listens to me. Do you know what it's like to be totally ignored? So how was your day, Rose? <laughs> the truth is she's a sweet girl looking for a friend. And we do have a common bond. She used to be a newscaster, and now she's just an assistant like me. Tang or something. Oh, Tang. Tang is not the catchword here. <laughs> what I mean is I think you're very nice, and I thought we kind of liked each other, you and me. This is very embarrassing. You don't understand the word I'm saying. <laughs> An M presses until uh, it's chased away by you, you know what no what rose a highway patrolman <laughs> dorothy what a big belch you couldn't say belch what is it a viking curse <laughs> well it's not the nicest word in the world uh, rose how could you do that don't you know what's going to happen this is going to end up in all the tabloids I can see it now, right next to Woman Gives Birth to Doc Severinsen Lookalike. <laughs> Dorothy Spornak meets Spaceman. Um, why do you get all the credit? Girls! <laughs> Look, I'm not going out with him. You go, Blanche. What? Well, you like him? I know you do, so you go. Of course she couldn't. You stay out of this, darling. <laughs> well, what? You know, you are being very small-minded. You know, a wise philosopher once said, there are no small minds, just big heads. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I'm not sure. <laughs> Come to think of it, it wasn't a philosopher, it was Rose. <laughs> Oh, Ma. Ma, your first day. You must be really excited. You bet I'm excited. This was a great idea of yours. It's given me a whole new lease on life. I need a raise. <laughs> Ma, you haven't even started yet. I meant help me up. These new underalls are choking my pancreas. <laughs> but I can't do this. Of course you Honey, can, you were Rose. doing just fine. Well, that's because you were here. Tomorrow I'll be out there all alone, staring at my relatives who'll be ready to hoot and snicker at the first crack in my voice. They'll think I'm an idiot. 
Please, it's family. They know you're an idiot. <laughs> Been waiting for the puffiness to disappear. <laughs> we were worried about you. Well, I just cried and cried, and then I finally realized what I'd been crying about. It wasn't about me, and it wasn't about Jamie. It was about George. And I cried enough for George when he died, so I decided to rejoin the living. <laughs> Arthie's born act. This is my mother, Sophia Petrillo. Remember, we spoke on the phone oh, about sharing yes. the house. Come here. Uh -huh. Move in this house and you'll die an agonizing death. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Zelda. Goodbye. Oh, ladies, I'm so... So damn special. Oh, God, why didn't I go when he called? Why didn't I go? And this is the living room. Oh. Blanche, you will never guess who I just got off the phone with. Trudy McMahon, your best friend from high school. She's coming to Miami for your high school reunion. <laughs> Sophia, that's incredible. You must have ESP. No, I have a phone extension in my bedroom. <laughs> Ma, how many... I won't be able to rest in peace unless I know that he has someone else. That's where you come in, Sophia. I want you to take my place. Hello, ladies. Welcome to Sunny Meadows. Oh, thank you. We don't... Whoa! <laughs> this Klingon Spritzer show. Excuse me. Where would you like me to put this? Oh, I'll buy me a drink and we'll talk. Lunch. I'm sorry. Um, just hold on to it. At them. <laughs> nice try. Five bucks. Spornak, <laughs> we found your mother. Ma, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. Oh, Ma, thank God. Give me a hug. <laughs> okay, now you two hug. Go. Okay, here I go. Hello. Oh, my God, no! All right, so he's not a 10. Blanche, honey, please. Oh, my God, what in hell? Why do you look like that? I don't believe this. Well, Blanche, Blanche, who is this? If I didn't know better. Popularity contest. Well, I have news for you. Today, your worst nightmare happens. Today, I make you look bad. You hate me because I'm beautiful, don't you? <laughs> There's a man leaving in 10 minutes. Be under him.
संग पिलूग पूछा
Thank you.